In this video, we're going to multiply fractions. Now, the procedure for multiplying fractions is step one, simplify if possible. Step two, multiply the tops. Step three, multiply the bottoms. And step four, check and see if you can simplify again. Note, you must convert mixed numbers into improper fractions before multiplying. You cannot multiply with whole numbers. Now, multiplying with cancelling is our first example, and we've got 35 over 34 times 17 over 42. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply the tops, 35 times 17, and we're going to multiply the bottoms. Now you can see that I've not actually calculated that because I'm going to do some simplifying. Now we can see that 17 and 34 are both on our 17 times table, so we can simplify them to 1 over 2. And 35 and 42 are both on our 7 times table, so we can simplify them to 5 over 6. Now our multiplication is much easier because we're going to be doing 5 times 1 for our numerator and we're going to be doing 2 times 6 for our denominator. And that gives us a final answer of 5 over 12. Now in our next example, we're multiplying mixed numbers and we want to calculate two and a quarter multiplied by one and three fifths. So step one, we need to change these into improper fractions. So two and a quarter is nine quarters. And if we change one and three fifths, remember we're doing denominator times whole number, add on the numerator. So we're going to get eight over five. Now that there are improper fractions, we can multiply them together. So we're going to do 9 quarters multiplied by 8 fifths. And that's going to equal 9 times 8 on our numerator over 4 times 5 on our denominator. And you can see that we can do some simplifying because 8 and 4 are both on our 4 times table, so we're going to have 2 over 1. Now we're going to multiply the top together, so that's 9 times 2. We're going to multiply the denominator at 1 times 5, and that gives us an answer of 18 over 5. And we're going to change that into a mixed fraction, and that's 3, remainder 3, so it's 3 fifths. Remember, the denominator doesn't change unless we're simplifying it. Now in this example, we've got 8 times 2 over 5. Now, remember, 8 is a whole number, it means 8 over 1. It's 8 wholes times 2 over 5. So we're going to multiply the tops, 8 times 2 over 1 times 5. There's nothing we can simplify here, so we're going to multiply them together and get 16 fifths. And then we're going to change that into a mixed fraction. And so we've got 3 and 1 fifth. Now, do not be tempted to multiply the top and the bottom by the whole number. When we're doing 8 times 2 fifths, it is not 8 times 2 over 8 times 5. That would be incorrect, and that's not what we want to do. Now, bod mass and fractions, we need to remember to multiply before we do any subtracting. So if we've got 2 and 2 ninths multiplied by 7, it means that we need to do the multiplication part first, so we're doing the 2 ninth times 7 before we take it away from 2. Remember, we can't change the order. So we've got 2, and we're going to take away 2 over 9 multiplied by 7 over 1. Then we need to do that multiplication, so we've still got 2 take away, and we've got 14 over 9. Now, we don't have enough ninths in our whole number, so we're going to change that 2 into ninths, and so we are going to have 18 ninths, and we're going to subtract the 14 ninths, and so then we're going to do 18 take away 14 to get 4, and our denominator stays the same, so our answer is 4 ninths.